Alright, hey, what's up, guys? Rudlinell here, coming back at you with another Python tutorial, and we're looking at even more of the Colorama module, but for now, we've actually got to install the sucker. Boom. <laughs> Alright, uh, I've got Google open right now, but this is almost actually kind of because I want to introduce something kind of cool to you guys if you haven't actually heard of it, and we're going to be using this tool or this kind of little utility to actually install Colorama for us and make this a lot easier, because on Windows, you've got the, uh, the typical... Um, at least process of going to the website, downloading the file, uh, and you know, actually going through the uh, archive, finding the things that we need to install the program, then actually running the execution and all that sort of thing. But on Linux, everything's a lot easier. I mean, you guys know that. You guys are all Linux users, at least I'm, that's what I'm assuming if you're watching this video. So everything's automated for us. But what I want to show you is pip. And uh, PIP, P-I-P, it's this Python package sort of controller. It manages uh, Python packages that you can install from the Python package index. Now, in the last video, you guys obviously saw that I was in the Python package index when I was showing you Colorama. But PIP is just a tool for installing and managing Python packages. It's like a typical, you know, package manager for any Linux system. So this is kind of easy. I mean, it's we're right at home with our package manager sort of ideal. So if you guys haven't heard of this, this is what we're going to be using, and it's kind of a really cool tool for when you're working with Python. So I'll get my terminal up over here, and my package manager is a uh, aptitude, or apt-get, because I'm working in Unity, I'm sorry, Ubuntu right now. It's any sort of like Debian base distribution will likely have uh, aptitude or app get whatever it is but like maybe fedora or any red hat ones might be using rpms or yum because that's just what they do <laughs> anyway sudo app get install if you're on ubuntu or a debian distribution like i am and i'm going to install pip because i don't actually have it installed i'm going to go ahead and type in my uh, password here and uh, it can't find pip and you know that's because i'm stupid pip is actually inside of a package called Python pip. Typically when you're working with things uh, in Python anyway, they also typically have a preceding sort of the term anyway that means it's from Python. Like if you're installing a Python module from this um, command line here with apt-get, then you can just typically use Python with the dash or the hyphen preceding what you'd be typically looking for. Like Pygame kind of does that same sort of thing. Anyway, Enough of me talking and trying to explain myself from that terrible misconception where I was an idiot and looked like an embarrassing fool. Python pip, okay, we can install that. It's uh, going to go ahead and quickly install that for us. And uh, now we actually have a new tool. We've got something fancy to play with and that makes things really easy when we're trying to install Python packages. So, pretty simple. Now, it should be done right now, as usual. <laughs> it's fast. Now we can use pip, and then go ahead and install as our second command, or our argument anyway, and we can install Colorama. And, uh, requirements are already satisfied, because for me, I actually already have Colorama installed. And, actually, I'll show you something new, because you can go ahead and uninstall something whenever you don't want it. So I'm actually going to uninstall Colorama, and I'll go ahead and show you it one more time. Okay, it looks like it's actually even looking for a Y rather than a yes. Okay, pretty errors. That's because I am not root. And uh, now it should be able to do so. Successfully uninstalled Colorama. Easy as that. Now if we use pip install Colorama, I will probably have to be root to do this instead. And this is typically what you're going to see when you're installing Colorama, and you will probably have to be root, so you can use your sudo command and that sort of thing. I'm, I mean, if you're a Linux user, you probably understand all the terms that I'm throwing around, because, I mean, you're on Linux. It should be easy enough as that. But, uh, okay, Colorama is installed. We can use it. Easy enough. If I actually throw open my Python interpreter and type import Colorama, I don't get any errors. So we're in a good spot here, guys. Colorama is installed, and we are ready to roll. Now, if you guys actually watch the Windows version of this video, I'll go through the manual process of actually downloading the file and uh, running the installer and that sort of thing. And you guys can do that on Linux. You totally can. Of course, you have that option. But everything's a lot easier when you've got something to manage it for you, you know? <laughs> so, again, this is another little video to boast about how awesome Linux is and how sucky Windows is, you know? You know? <laughs> and uh, just to get you guys up and running with uh, Colorama. Thanks again, though, and I uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial. Adios, guys.